Caroline. Sorry, I'm late. I stopped to pick up an anniversary present for your parents. Oh, you didn't have to do that. It's enough that you're going all the way to Wisconsin just for their party. Ah, it's just a book. Oh, erotic massage for couples with photos. <laughs> Annie, they're my parents. To them, erotic is eating meatloaf with their fingers. <laughs> Maybe you can return it. Oh, actually, I can't. I accidentally got some lipstick on some of the pages. <laughs> All right, I'm all ready for my weekend in Wisconsin. I've got my Walkman, my sketch pad. Oh, yeah, and some sharp pencils I can drive through my skull if anybody asks me about football. <laughs> I know you're not thrilled about coming there, but my family is really looking forward to getting to know you better. I know. Hey, honey. What do you say? Let's go see my future in-laws. Uh, oh, and one more thing. Uh, my grandma Duffy thinks we're still engaged. What? Yeah, um, <clears throat> she really liked him, so, uh, you know, we didn't have the heart to tell her that we broke up. So this weekend, Del and I are still engaged, and you and I are just friends. <laughs> well, perfect. Perfect. So while you and Dell are frolicking around, what am I supposed to do? Eh, find a door with a lock on it. You know, I haven't seen much of it yet. I mean, uh, all we passed was a gas station and a mini-mart. Oh, well, then you've seen the new downtown. <laughs> oh, the place looks great. Richard, this is where I used to sit every day, look out the window, watch my dad come home, get out of the car. Ah, how's he stinking ice cream? It's like time stood still. <laughs> it serves him right. I got him a nice pair of galoshes. He insists on wearing those trendy crepe soles. I'm still not wearing the galoshes. <laughs> Richard, out back, there's a dead possum. He got frozen in kind of a funny position, and I saved it because I thought you might want to paint him. Well, actually, nobody's ever saved a frozen marsupial from me before. Yeah. Come on, I'll point him out to you. Then, Annie, you and I can start rehearsing. Okay. Well, Annie's helping Dad rehearse for that play zone at the community playhouse. Oh. I'm going to go freshen up. Oh, it's right upstairs. Take a left when you pass my good posture certificate. Dale, Grandma Duffy can't wait to see you. Mom, guess who's here now? I'm not going to the old folks' home. <laughs> oh, Caroline. <laughs> oh, oh, and here is my favorite fiancé. <laughs> Grandma Duffy, you look great. No, I don't. I look old. <laughs> you only think I look great because I'm not dead. <laughs> All right, good looking. Grab your suitcases. We'll get you unpacked. Well, that shouldn't take too long. The airline's lost my luggage. Oh, well, you're welcome to any of Grandpa Duffy's old clothes. In fact, you can welcome to any of his old stuff. Uh, how are you fixed for teeth? <laughs> Here you go. Here's some orange juice for you. Drink it fast before the powder settles. <laughs> Remember when we got these glasses? We had to fill up at the Texaco station all summer long. Yeah. Well, I only pull them out for special occasions. <laughs> um, it's so great to be here, you know. Whenever I've had a bad day, I just close my eyes at night. Well, we all do, dear. It's called sleep. <laughs> um, it's just... What I mean is I forgot how great it was to be home. Oh, I really, really love it here. All finished, Margaret. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow. Caroline, hi. I heard you were coming to town. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So what have you been up to, huh? Well, I'm in real estate now. Oh. I'm selling your folks' house. What? Nice having you here, Howard. Now, you give my love to your roommate, Kevin. All right. <laughs> we call them the bachelors. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mom. Are you selling the house? Well, dear, it's time, you know. This house is just too much for your father and I to maintain, so we're going to get a nice condo over by the golf course. Well, I, I, just, I just can't believe that you'd sell it. It's, it's not right. We're not golfers. <laughs> we, we, we sit on this couch. We eat snacks. That's what we do. How could you just throw that all away? Well, I didn't know you'd be so upset. 
course you did. That's why you didn't tell me. I have to go lay down. That is, if you haven't sold my bed. No. <laughs> it's just out for repairs. Mrs. Duffy. Oh, Richard, I know you don't <laughs> think there's much to do in Pesh to go. Uh, no, come on. No, I... that's why I have arranged for you to toss around the football with the Sweeney brother. Oh, my God, no, yeah. no, no. Oh, there okay. they are. What? Come on, Duffy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go knock some people. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't worry, we're just going to sit in the truck and drink anyway. This is the Annie, it is so great you helping me with my acting. Oh, it's not a problem. Deadly Consequences. Yeah. I'm not familiar with this play. Well, it's not a play. That's an episode of Mannix. <laughs> the, t the TV show? The Pesh to Go Players is doing an episode of a TV show? Well, you see, the folks around here, they just didn't spark to live theater. So it came to me, live television. And I'm guessing you're playing, uh... Joe Mannix. Yeah. Yeah, easy going, aloof, but, but he bristles when he sees injustice. Sounds like quite a guy. Oh, he is. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you. I got every single episode on tape. I think we'll start with Tangled Web. Let's take a look at the living room. Aren't you going to tell him about the windows? Caroline, I can handle this. Oh. Folks, notice how the windows just flood this room with light? In the summer, when you open them, this wonderful breeze comes through, and thank God it helps dissipate the swamp gases. This house is built on an ancient landfill. <clears throat> it's sinking. Uh, I'll catch up with you folks in a second. Caroline, what are you doing? They have to know this stuff. You guys are going to love the basement. Used to be our living room. <laughs> I can't believe I voted for you for best posture. <laughs> Hello? Go away. The open house is over. Randy. Hey! Oh, my God. Caroline. I didn't know you were in town. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I am. <laughs> what are you doing with our cat? Oh, well, I found him outside, and we were sort of catching up on old times, and he said, Randy, you know, this is really fun, but I'm freezing my butt off. <laughs> oh, gosh, why don't you come in? Wow. So, um... I heard you were living in Chicago. No, nah, no, nah, I moved back about a month ago. Oh. I'm taking over Dr. Verko's practice. Wow. Wow, Dr. Verko's still practicing. <laughs> He's about 100 years old now, right? Did he leave you his leeches? No, no. Pediatric medicine has come a long way. Yeah, we use snakes now. <laughs> I swear on my yellow jacket, the house is not sinking. If anything, it's, it's getting taller. <laughs> Your parents are selling the house? Yeah, I'm not taking it very well. I can't get used to the idea of strangers living here. Oh, I bet. Caroline! Oh, have you... Uh, Grandma Duffy! Uh, you remember Randy Thorson? I don't remember breakfast. <laughs> Grandma, is that cough medicine on the rocks? Well, I, uh, I got a little tickle. Oh, yeah, that little tickle since I was eight. <laughs> hey, come on. I bet Mom would love to see her. Oh, I'd love to see her, too. Hey, you know, you think she'd give me back that Playboy she confiscated in the sixth grade? <laughs> Well, how you do? How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> These are very comfortable. And you know what? I don't think anything I'm wearing is actually touching me. <laughs> Del, come here. Look, if you see Caroline, will you tell her I'm in the basement and will be for the rest of this trip? <laughs> What's going on? The Sweeney brothers. I'm hiding from them. I mean, uh, apparently we've hit it off. No, no, it's okay. I, you know what? I can't right now, okay? I, I, I'm in the middle of a very good book. A book? You can't drink a book. Uh, ah! No, no, you guys, come on now. I've had way too much fun already. I mean, I, I don't like to go through a windshield more than once a weekend, okay? What the? Hello, Caroline. Are you still too angry at your mother to try a little of her scalloped potatoes? Well, of course not, Mom. Look, I I'm sorry if I overreacted, but in the future, I'd appreciate it if you have something difficult to tell me, you come right out and say it, okay? Okay. Your skirt's too short, and you're a little too bossy sometimes. <laughs> you know, Fred, I can't stop watching those Mannix tapes. I love that guy. He's fantastic. What is it about him? 
Well, he's got hair, he's got a car, and chicks, and he's fearless. Yeah, and it takes a whole lot of man to wear an ascot. <laughs> so now, when you two get married, are you going to start having babies right away? Uh, <clears throat> he's fully armed, isn't he? <laughs> because if he's not, I've got some home remedies that'll fire him right up. <laughs> you know, you take some witch hazel and you rub it on oh, his... I think it's time for me to make a toast, huh? All right, dear. Uh, excuse me, could, um, could everyone raise their steins? I want to make a toast. Mom, Dad, I want to congratulate you on 40 wonderful years. And I hope someday I'll be surrounded by friends and family in a home as warm and loving as this one. Uh, you know, I, in fact, I think I know how I can make that happen sooner. Mom, Dad, I'm going to buy this house. Oh. <laughs> Caroline, can I just talk to you for a second over here? <laughs> so you're buying a house in Wisconsin, huh? You planning on moving here? I, I, I don't know. I, I... So... Why are you buying the house? Cheese storage? I really didn't think it through. I, I guess I just always imagined that someday I'd move back here. Right, well, Caroline, see, Excuse perhaps you should me, take it. You know, you're going to be needing tornado insurance. Don't you wait till your bathtub's in a tree. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not kidding. Look, there's a picture of it right on his car. So, tell me, in this fantasy, do you uh, see yourself living here alone? I, I really didn't think about it, Richard. I, I mean, do you imagine yourself living in Manhattan for the rest of your life? If there's a God? Uh, come on, Richard. Isn't there a tiny part of you that longs for a traditional home in a traditional neighborhood? A, a white picket fence, a spindly neat mailman? You know, I'm happy with the mailman I have. He wears a turban and he carries a gun. <laughs> Caroline, come on, Caroline. For God's sake, I mean, until I met you, I never even thought of flying over Wisconsin, let alone landing in it. And yet, you know, now that I've been here, believe me, I know why. Well, thank you for being so open-minded. Can you, you honestly think I want to live here? Come on, it's provincial, it's brain-dead, it's a tundra with a couple of IHOPs. I would rather curl up and die. What did he say? He said he hates us. <laughs> I have more privacy in New York. Two years I've been looking for you. Excuse me? Stop the charade. We had a deal and you welched. It's payback time, Carlos. Drop it, Bambi! Taking the law into your own hands is a fool's game. Oh, look out! He's got a gun! Bam! Ah! <laughs> Come on, Bambi. I'll buy you a bus ticket home. I'd like that, Joe. I'd like that a lot. Honey, that's terrific. <laughs> Great. Me? I have never been so scared of a ping-pong paddle in my life. <laughs> Except for that time that Sal forgot the code word for enough. <laughs> Mrs. Duffy, this is the best Dutch waffle I have ever had. Well, I guess we do some things right out here on the tundra. <laughs> Mrs. Duffy, if I could put last night's comments in context, okay? Look, the Sweeney brothers may not be the best ambassadors for your fair city. Don't you pick on those nice boys. <laughs> yeah, Howard, it's Caroline Duffy. Yeah, I left a message on your answering machine about my parents' house. You still going ahead with that crazy plan to move into a house a million miles away from your very best friend? I'm not moving anywhere. I'm just going to buy the house. I don't know. What, Dad, you, you sold the house already? Dad. What, Margaret? Oh, yes, I'll take the garbage out. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Really? Well, I... Guess I'm just leaving the room for no reason. Mom, did you sell our house? Oh, I guess we did. <laughs> Sticky bun? Uh, what, Fred? I'd be glad to help you take the trash out. <laughs> Mom, why'd you sell the house out from under me? Well, we didn't. It was already sold yesterday before you made your announcement. But it's really better this way. What, what, what are you talking about? Well, you never sell to a blood relative. Well, look what happened when we sold that snowblower to Cousin Ned. He backed it over his foot, and now we have to pay for that special shoe. <laughs> I am not going...
going through that again. <laughs> Mrs. Duffy, did you make that wonderful seashell mobile? Oh, shut up, you big kiss ass. <laughs> Richard, they sold this house to somebody else. They did. Oh, Caroline, it's a sign. We're supposed to eat our giant waffles and go home. Why is everybody fighting me on this? I want this house and I'm going to get it. Howard, I don't care who bought the house. Just cancel the deal. Caroline, why are you doing this to me? This is pish to go. No one ever moves here and no one ever leaves. It's hard to sell a house. <laughs> Howard, I got those escrow papers. Well, what are you doing here, Randy? Well, I bought your parents' house. Thank you. Why would you buy their house? Well, I got great memories of the old place, and uh, it's close to my office, so I figured, you know, why not? Well, what's, what's wrong? I wanted to buy the house. So you're moving back? I don't know. Maybe. Eventually. Could happen. No. <laughs> I can see why you want it. I don't know, Randy. New York's great, but Pesta goes like... Home. Finally, somebody understands. Yeah. That's why I moved back. Well, that and the Nightcrawler Festival. <laughs> Randy, I... I really want my parents' house. Would you sell it back to me? Well... I never could say no to you. Oh, thank you! 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you come in. How did it go at the real estate office? He kissed me. The real estate agent? <laughs> oh, Randy Thorson. He bought the house, and then I, I bought it back, and then he kissed me. Wow. How did it happen? I don't know. I have to tell you, ever since I found out that my parents sold this house, I've just lost my mind. I've argued with Richard. I fought with my parents. I kissed a guy who used to put worms down my shirt. <laughs> what is wrong with me, Annie? Caroline, there's nothing wrong with you. You just love this house. You're not ready to let it go. Yeah, well, maybe I should. I mean, it's making everybody crazy. Belle's dressing like my grandpa. <laughs> You're in love with some stupid cop show from 30 years ago. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> um, what am I... Excuse me. Have you seen one episode? Have you seen Date with Destiny? No. <laughs> Have you seen, have you seen Shadows of Anger? Jockey's Holiday? No, you haven't. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm getting a little emotional. Fred and I are going to go watch the very last Manx. I got you some fried cheese curds at the Hilltop Bar and Grill. How anybody's heart is still pumping in this town is beyond me. Thank you, they look delicious. I was wrong about the house. You should buy it. I already did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a stupid idea. No, no. No, it wasn't stupid. Caroline, buy the house. Have you lost your mind, too? I don't need this house. I wouldn't be happy living in Peshtigo. I'm a hardened, sophisticated, jaded city girl now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that a robin? Oh, my God, where? Where? Oh. <laughs> Come here, city girl. Sit. Sit. Listen, okay? Caroline, I was walking down the bitterly cold streets of Peshtigo, and uh, people were smiling. <laughs> I mean... As their skin froze and their faces fell off, they kept smiling. <laughs> and I realized that's what you do. You smile when there's no good reason to. But you're making me sound like that crazy lady who stands by the subway entrance and offers everyone her apple juice. Oh, honey, that's not apple juice. <laughs> Caroline... Peshtigo, Peshtigo is a part of you. You have to buy this house or you'll regret it. You don't want to live here. You never want to live here. That's not the point. You do. You really want me to buy this house? 
Don't push it. Get the house. We'll work it out later. Oh, thank you. Why are you kissing the pale, moody fella? <laughs> um, Grandma Duffy, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this sooner, but, uh, you know, Del, Del and I broke up a long time ago. Uh, Richard is, uh, my boyfriend. Oh, thank God. You know, I tried to like that Dell guy, but he wears on you. Uh, Grandma Duffy, are you done ironing my Sanzibel pants? Because I kind of like to put them on when they're still warm. Well, I tell you what, you slip them on and I'll set them on fire. 